Statewide from Sunday to Monday, we go from stay at home to safer at home, and you may be wondering if there are any new do's and don'ts as we move forward. So let's talk about the transition with our nine health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. It's good to see you, Pyle. Let's talk about the transition here. A lot of news this week. What do we know about therapies or treatments that we didn't maybe know a week ago? Hi, Tom. So should I start with the good news or the bad news first? <laughs> oh, let's, let's get the bad news out of the way first. Okay, so let's talk about hydroxychloroquine. We had all this expectations hyped on hydroxychloroquine, and just today the FDA released a warning that it is not to be used outside of the hospital setting, and it's not to be used outside a clinical trial because the risks actually outweigh the benefits. They also said um, that remdesivir, which is another drug that was very, very promising, the clinical trial results from that came out earlier this week as well, and what we saw was that in one trial, it's actually not showing a lot of efficacy, and in the other trial, the results are inconclusive. Now, we heard from Governor Cuomo last night as well that hydroxychloroquine did not perform as well as it was expected to in the New York City cohort. So again, the results don't seem to show that it has much efficacy. So that's the bad news. Are you ready for the good news? I'm always ready for the good news. Let's do that. <laughs> Okay, so there's scientists in China that are actually cloning the antibodies that are neutralizing and work against this virus. So hopefully, you know, that convalescent plasma that we've been talking about, this is a way to really ramp up production of that, and we'll have to see if it works to clone these antibodies. When you talk about remdesivir and hydroxychloroquine, I think everyone wanted an instant fix, and that's, that was the hope that they would stumble across something that was already in process, but we really are still looking at 12 to 15 to 18 months before a vaccine in all likelihood is ready. It's true. I mean, some scientists from the NIH are saying we could have something as early as September, but that's very optimistic. And I think that what you said about treatments, we really want to find a treatment, but we have to do it in a safe fashion. And both of these, which were looking very promising, have really started to fizzle out. All right, do's and don'ts from shifting from stay at home to safer at home statewide. What are the don'ts? What are the things you want people to be aware of or care careful of as things change a little bit come Monday? So I'll, ha I'll have three don'ts for you guys today. The first Kim just said a few minutes ago, do not ingest, inject, or inhale disinfectants, bleach, or isopropyl alcohol because these are poisonous substances and this is definitely not safe to do. The second don't also comes out of the press conference yesterday from the White House. Do not expose yourself to UV light, to sunlight, or to extreme heat because this does not work to inactivate virus that's on your skin and in fact can cause cell damage, give you radiation, and cause skin burns. And then the final don't is don't do anything that's not essential. Nothing changes on Sunday from my perspective. Don't get your hair cut. Don't get your nails done. Don't go for a massage. This is not the time. And don't have those barbecues or dinner parties because the last thing you want to do is invite the virus over to your barbecue. We'll That's just, not a welcome guest. Yeah, just not there yet. What about the do's, though, as we move to Monday? So do's, real quick, three do's as well. Wear those masks. Wash those hands and sanitize those surfaces, and then try to work from home if you can. I know we're starting to transition to going back to work, but it's still safer for us as, at home, as the governor has said, so really try to do that if you can. Stay smart, stay aware, and, and enjoy the weekend. Hopefully you have a great weekend, Pyle. We always uh, appreciate our chances to visit with you. Thanks again.